Hi everyone, welcome to the College of Education and Human Services here at the University of North Florida. We're excited to show you around. Let's go take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Tony. I'm a sign language interpreting major here at the College of Education. And my name is Anne Marie and I'm a deaf education major here at UNF. Um, right now, we're just going to kind of show you what our normal classrooms look like. Uh, one thing that's super, super awesome is our small class sizes. Um, so our normal ratio is about 19 students to one professor, um, although our, our classes can hold up to 36. Um, but these small class sizes are super, super beneficial um, because you can work closely with your peers and with your professor and you're a name, not a number. And then we also want to highlight the movability of each classroom. For, so for each major, we have different setups you need in order to get close with the faculty and learn the knowledge you need to know. For example, in ASL settings, we typically use a U-shaped classroom so that everyone has the ability to see the professor and the signing, and the professor can see each student signing. And then other setups we have are rows like we have displayed here or clusters for group work. And then of course, if you need any classroom accommodations, you can always reach out to our Disability Resource Center. Um, and as far as fall goes, um, it will look a little bit different. As you can see we, here, we have every other seat um, available. Um, and there also won't be as many in-person classes available. Hi, my name is Haley Ross and I'm a secondary English education major. Right now we're in the STEP lab, which stands for Solve, Tinker, Explore, and Play. My experience in the STEP lab has one, been a wonderful one. I've gotten to work with students K through five in their explorations in math and science. Typically, they're working with things like 3D printers, Lego robots, or the iPads or other technology devices that are available here. It's been really wonderful for me because as a secondary English education major, I'm not working with younger students or in the field of mathematics. Another thing that the Step Lab offers is professional development. I've actually been certified through code.org here uh, to teach K through five coding. So that's another great experience that you can look out for. While it's closed for fall 2020, keep on the lookout on our social media pages for more updates. The students that we work with in the STEP lab are all from regional schools in Jacksonville, so it's a great way for students to run our college to get experience with local elementary students. Hi y'all, my name is Anne Marie and I am a deaf education major here at UNF. Um, right now I am in our ASL lab. So ASL is American Sign Language um, and this lab is utilized for ASL practice, ASL homework, ASL socialization, um, and it is voice off, so it's all signing, no speaking, uh, which is actually really, really helpful. It's not as scary as it seems. <laughs> um, and we always have a staff member uh, who's always available to help, and they're usually deaf too, which is super, super awesome. Um, I always come in here to do my homework. Any ASL homework I have, I am in here. I'm here almost every single day because <laughs> um, we have plenty of technology, plenty of resources and textbooks and everything. And then you always have your staff member to help with anything you need. Um, our ASL club also meets in here every week and we do lots of games and get togethers, um, just social outings also. Um, however, in the fall, we will actually be going virtual via Zoom uh, Monday through Saturday, and you'll have to sign up uh, by appointment like for your time slot. So for that fall availability, you'll just have to check our website for that Zoom link and then sign up for your time slot. I hope to see you guys there. Hello everyone, my name is Gary. Sport Management major here at the University of North Florida. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Sport Data Analytics Lab. Uh, this lab is new to our college, it's something we're super excited about. Uh, and what the opportunity is going to be, it's going to allow students um, to really manipulate sport analytics, uh, both on-field analytics and business analytics. So we're going to look at uh, player performance, but we're also going to look at uh, revenue, marketing strategy, business plans, 
Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're covering you know, analytics organization wide. Um, in the lab, you're going to have the opportunity to get hands on experience with faculty, but also uh, with local organizations, regional and national, and maybe even some international sport organizations. This is a great opportunity for our students. Our college is really excited about it, and we can't wait to see you in the lab. Another thing our college is super excited about here in the sport management program. Um, what this new program is going to allow for is uh, local business owners, CEOs, um, faculty, and um, sport management professionals to come in and serve as guest faculty, uh, teaching and mentoring students. And it's really highly effective transformational learning opportunity that makes us just a little more uniquely UNF. Um, you know, because our students will get the opportunity to hear from folks that are doing the jobs that we want, and there's nothing more important than that. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and I'm a Def Ed major, and right now we are in the telepresence room, and this is a room where you could potentially have your class if your professor is remoting in, which means that they're not physically on campus, and they are trying to teach from afar. Uh, so you would use a specific website and they'll be popped up on the TV screen, almost like they're in person, but they're not. It's a very interesting way of doing like Zoom calls. Um, so they'll be there, you'll be sitting here in person. And for me, I got the chance to use this in my deaf ed practicum placement with my teacher who was all the way in California. So she's not able to be here physically because she's in a different time zone. So she was able to pop in and teach a lesson um, every week or so. And you could also use the telepresence room for virtual job fairs, um, which you can actually connect with the job opportunities that aren't even in Florida if you're interested in going to work out of state. So we had one that happened from Washington State. So go from one point of the country to the other. And you could also use it for parent panels, which is where parents will come in and talk about the programs that their kids are in. So it's a great way to interact with others, even though you may not all be here physically, it's a great way to connect to others. Hi everyone, my name is Jade Ewan, and I serve as our college's outreach and recruitment coordinator. Hi guys, my name is Gary, I'm a sport management major here at the University of North Florida. And here we are in front of our Office of Academic Support and Information Services, commonly known as OASIS. At OASIS, we serve students from the beginning of their time at UNF all up until graduation. Here at OASIS, you can find a plethora of different services. These services include academic advising, outreach and recruitment, field and internship experiences, career services, and scholarships. During the fall 2020 semester, OASIS staff members will be on a rotating schedule for Zoom, email, phone, and limited face-to-face -face appointments. We'll also be launching a virtual Zoom lobby. So please monitor our college's websites for the most updated information on these resources. For our MADE LLC students, you're going to want to stay in contact with your first year advisor throughout your freshman year at UNF. However, once you hit sophomore status, meaning 30 credit hours, you'll start transitioning to our academic advising team here in OASIS. However, if you have any questions during your freshman year and want to check in with us, please feel free to do so.